Hey what's up guys, in this video I'll show you this Nova launcher setup. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So this is what we'll be getting as our final result with this amazing composition of icons and widgets. I'll start just from my default launcher, then I will switch on to the Nova launcher and finally I will add all the icons, widgets and all the stuffs onto the home screen. But before moving further, you should download all the apps from the link given in the description. Let's go to settings, then set Nova launcher as a default launcher. So coming back onto the home screen, we will get this default Nova launcher home screen with all these icons and this layout is pretty much the default layout of Nova Launcher. Now we will be removing every element from the home screen and making it blank. So let's get started by removing everything. First of all go to Nova settings and there click on the desktop. Now we will set the desktop grid size. We will set it to 6x6 so that we can get a maximum space to arrange our elements like icons and widgets onto the screen then go to the icon size there's set a very small icon size I would rather suggest you to set it as 80% which I like then hide all the labels cause we don't need any label for the common icons we can recognize it just from looking at them then scroll down to the bottom to set the page indicator as none as we are using single screen layout currently Go to the dock settings and disable it from there as we want a neat and clean home screen for our setup. After that come back and go to the look and feel menu. There set the icon theme as grayscale. Then click over the adaptive icons and set it to circular. Also switch on the reshape legacy icons to reshape them to circular shape. Now scroll down to the bottom and turn off the notification bar. And that's all in the Nova settings. Just close it and come on to the home screen. Wow, this is a blank Nova home screen where we will be adding the icons and the widgets. First start by opening ES file manager. Search there for the file triangle.zip that you have downloaded from the link. Then extract it and copy the contents. After that, go to Super Widget folder. There you will find Templates folder. Inside that folder, just paste the copied contents. There must be deep.zw file now. Now you can minimize the ES file manager and come on to the home screen. Just tap for a while there and you will get this menu. Then tap on widgets and add one Jupyter widget onto the home screen. Just select one by one size and drag and paste it over the home screen. Now we will resize it to completely cover the screen. Just drag from any corner and leave it at other edge. So now it is 100% covering the screen. Tap over it for once. Then you will get all these menus where we are going to add that deep.zw template on our home screen. Tap on SD card menu. It will show you the templates. Select the second template and then just minimize this setting. It might not be showing you at once. Just tap on multiple times over the layout and it will show you the exact same template. What we will do now is just go to app drawer and search for Google wallpapers. Open up the app and then search for the section named cityscapes inside that you can choose any of them I just chose this grayscale wallpaper and set it as my wallpaper now the things that are missing are those icons we will add them one by one just go to the app drawer then click and drag one by one all the icons in this way I'll show you that very quickly and then I'll show you its use. So 
so this is our final setup that we have got and this is what we were looking for now this thumb impression is mapped to my whatsapp so just by tapping over this thumb i'll open up my whatsapp and this loader is showing your battery with green saying that your battery is completely charged and towards red hit like to the video if it looks amazing and do subscribe to my channel for more videos on tech editing and photography thanks for watching see you soon in the next video